sa inyong palagay, ano ang pinag-aawayan ninyong dalawa? Ikaw, Department of Energy and Natural Resources, against the Chamber of Mines. Ito ang tungkulin, and I must underline that, tungkulin ng pamahalaan, na titingnan ng lahat, you know, and then magdi-decide kung anong action na may pakinabang ang pinakamarami. Kung madidismaya ang tubig, ang tubig ng mga isla natin, ng komunidad, parang ano mangyayari sa kanila, no? And no business is ever more important than, than the quality of life. Bawal naman mag-operate ng business na madidismaya ang water supply. Ang Pilipinas, ang buong Pilipinas ay watershed. So if you are protecting the watersheds, then you should have no mining at all in the Philippines. Can you buy against all mining in the Philippines? No, I'm not against all mining. When we passed uh, 13 mines, you know, I, I, I particularly like Rio Tuba, no? when I saw it there, yung mined out area nila, ginawa nilang uh, mangrove, and then yung tailing pond, parang garden, may mga isda ni dyan sa dagat na ginagamit nilang bio-indicators. Mm -hmm. um, they have a hospital, a school, the school had computers. Parang, for me, with, with mining companies like that, I'll even work with them kung paano gamitin yung SDMP funds nila para um, magkaroon ng isang mas malaking impact sa buong Palawan. So in other words, sa inyo, there are responsible miners and there are irresponsible miners. Yes. Okay. Hindi ako politika, Winnie. Eh, no? Hindi ako mag... So you don't ano. care who owns it? No, wala you akong... Don't care yeah. who, you know. Kung, if, kung tama, tama. Kung mali, mali. There are only three open pit mines of the 41 mining operations. Yes. If it is not open pit mine, it's okay? No, what I'm saying is the, the MPSAs mm -hmm. that we showed, gave show costs, mm -hmm. 75 MPSAs, 37 in Mindanao, 11 in Visayas, 27 in Luzon, are, were MPS, MPSAs given in watersheds. Yan ang sinasabi ko. So That's why canceling it? Yeah, hindi pa sila nag-umpisa. So ang sinasabi ko, wag na lang. Ayaw. Nakakatakot, wag na kayong mag-umpisa. Marami pang pwedeng gawin yan. So dyan. yung 75 na yun, eh, hindi pa nag Hindi pa sila nag-umpisa. Hindi pa nag-employ ng isang ka Wala, isang wala. Tao. Hindi pa sila nag-umpisa. Ang sinasabi ko, wag na lang. O tayo muna, e, bakit na lang? binigay itong kontrata sa kanila in the first place? Yun na nga, eh. hindi dapat binigay yun. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Pero wala akong ano dyan, nagawa na. So nagawa na. And uh, sa gobi, it's my duty, tungkulin ko na i-review lahat ng kontrata, uh -huh. yung MPSAs, yung ECC, yan ang tungkulin ko. I-review lahat sa filter ng um, pakinabang ng mamamayang Pilipino, okay. common good. Sa madaling salita, 75 mining operations want to come in. In watershed. No more. Wag na because lang. they are all in watersheds. Uh, there is no watershed area in that, uh, in that uh, place. So it's all highly mineralized now. I think when, when she flew over there, uh, she saw that the water was red along the coastal line. Uh, I told her, um, you know, I was born there, I grew up there, and uh, long before there was no mining, because the slopes of the mountain and the color of the mountain is red, uh, goes to the sea. So talagang pumupula yung dagat, kahit walang mga. Makailang ulit kaming humingi ng panayam sa iba't ibang opisyal ng Chamber of Mines at ng mga kumpanyang nakan sila ang MPSA, pero tumanggi sila. Sa bayan ng Santa Cruz sa Sambales, apat na minahan ang pinasara ng DNR. Ang Benguet Corp. Nickel Mines Incorporated, Eramen Minerals Incorporated, Sambales Diversified Metals Corporation, at LNL Archipelago Mining Corporation. Water is life. Nickel ang pangunahing minimina sa Sambales na ipinapadala naman sa China. Isa ang nickel sa pangunahing sangkap sa paggawa ng stainless steel. So sa sa tapos Sambales, ganito ang nangyari, okay? So when you start mining, you will have to take out the you know, first you have to cut down the trees, okay? like any construction site. And then, kukunin mo yung topsoil. And the topsoil is what you sell wholesale to China. Okay? 30 million tons every year. Isa sa pangunahing napinsala ng pagmimina sa bayan ng Santa Cruz, ang Alinsaog River, na labing apat na kilometro ang haba. 
Dumadaloy ito sa apat na barangay ng Gisgis, Kanaynayan, Lomboy at Bangkol. Ang ilog na dati mayaman sa isda at mahigit tatlongpong talampakan ng lawak, natampakan na ng tinatawag na laterite nickel ore sediment o magkahalong bato at lupa na galing sa minahan. Ang nooy malalim na ilog kasalukuyang gatuhod hanggang paywang na lang. Bukod sa apat na minahan sa Sambales, labing siyam na minahan pang nakatanggap ng closure order sa Benguet, Bulacan, Eastern Samar, Dinagat Islands at Surigao del Norte. Wala dito sa Himpapawit, hindi talaga may tatanggi yung ganda ng Dinagat Islands. At uh, bukod doon sa kanilang yamang kapaligiran, mayaman din ang uh, mga lupa nito sa mineral. Kaya naman malaking bahagi ng mga isla ay minimina. Sa Dinagat Island sa Mindanao, nakatiwangwang na ang dati open pit mining. Mula sa Himpapawit, itong tanawing bumungad sa akin. Mga bundok na nakakalbo. Mga lupang hinukay at ginawang daanan ng mga truck. At dagat na nagkulay putik dahil sa tubig na dumadaloy mula sa mining site. Ang mga residenteng pabor at kontra sa pagpapasara sa pitong minahan sa kanilang lugar, nagkilos protesta. Palakpakan natin ang pro-mining! Itong mga tubig na ininom namin naging hindi na malinaw. At saka yung mga kalsada namin dinadaanan, sira na kasi yung mga putik sa galing bundok na ibababa naman. Pag may nagmina, may trabaho. Wala rin mina, wala rin trabaho. Ang mayor ng bayan ng Loreto, pavor sa pagpapasara ng minahan. Pero some of these mining companies too, don't, uh, you know, didn't uh, pay their taxes. So I want them to pay first their taxes and their obligations and make a deposit for the rehabilitation. Hindi naman ako sa nag-aakusa. Ay baka na-blind din ang Pangulo patungkol sa mga bagay na ito. Baka hindi sakto yung mga reports. Umaalma ang mga nasa industriya ng pagbimina dahil hindi raw naging patas ang nangyaring audit. Ngayon darating naman ang Chamber of Mines. Sabi nila, hindi kayo gumamit ng due process. Ah, okay. Uh, that's so not true at all. We that's mean. so not okay. true. Bakit? So what we did, uh, remember we wanted to do the mine audit, no? Mm -hmm. So we had uh, 16 mm -hmm. teams, 16 teams. So this was composed of DNR, MGB, uh, EMB, DA, Department of Agriculture, DOH, Department of Health, Social Action Center, the Bureau of Fisheries, and Civil Society. Okay. okay, it was a multi-sectoral team uh, which went there, 16 of these, went there to 41 mine areas. Uh -huh. When they went there, um, they were, it was all with the representative from the mining industry. May entry interview na sinasabi sa, uh, sa head ng mining company or sa representative nila kung anong gagawin dyan. Para klarong, klarong, klaro. Tapos umikot sila, nag-investigate sila. Pagkatapos na yan, may exit interview din na sinabi ko anong findings nila, hindi penalties kung anong nakita nila. Mm -hmm. So everything was due process. At the end of the day, at sa pagkatapos na yan, lahat ng mining companies binigyan ng isang ganito. Some of theirs, mas makapal pa. Mm -hmm. Ganyan. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Ito ang show cause. Lahat ng violations ng dito, maski yung batas na na-violate, yung Clean Air Act, yung Clean Water Kailan Act. Kailan ito nangyari? Kailan mo da? July... Last year, no? Mga August. Okay. August. Kasi August. July, nag-ikot. Okay, mm -hmm. sa August, binigay ito. Mm -hmm. Okay, sa pagkatapos na binigay ito, nag, sa kanila? Uh, Nag-reply nag naman sila. Mm -hmm. Yan. Lahat Ay, sila. reply nila? Ano, mas, mga limang ganito. Paano sila magre-reply kung hindi, si, kung hindi nila natanggap? Uh -huh. Okay, so pagkatapos ng reply, we composed again 15 teams for for review. Mm -hmm. review. At itong teams na ito, composition ng team nito ay EMB, Environment Management Bureau, yung FMB, Forestry Management Bureau, yung BMB, Biodiversity Management Bureau, lahat ng taga DNR, mm -hmm. yung Field Operations, at, at saka yung, yung head ng team ay yung MGB. Okay. Okay, so 
binasa nila lahat yan, tapos nag-ikot naman sila kung tama ba yan o hindi. Okay. So, dalawang beses kayo nag-ikot? Dalawa na. Uh -huh. Okay. So, pagkatapos na yan, na nag-ikot na sila, um, make findings sila. Okay. Yung sa, yung sa violations, sang-ayon kami dyan, nag-agree kami sa violations. Where we didn't agree was in the... Penalty. Was in the penalty. Ang gusto nila, uh, what do you call these fines lang. Mm -hmm. Fines. Eh, yung fines, pupunta yan sa National Treasury. Hindi naman yan pupunta sa komunidad. So, okay lang, magmino pa kayo, mag-fines lang. Pero yung ganyan na utak, no? uh -huh. ay yan ang dahilan kung bakit nagdudusa ang tao. Kung fines lang, kawawa naman. So, magmina pa kayo, mag-fines lang. Mag -fines lang. So, yan, review na yan. Yan ang sinabi ko, wag na lang ipakita sa press kasi we didn't agree. And sabi nila, tinatago ko daw. You, you felt the recommendation was too mild. mild. Like, and, and, and actually, it hurt the people. Yes, and the actually, community. Winnie, yung, yung role ng team, what, the, the, it was, I was not mandated or forced to form the team. I just wanted to go faster. Mm -hmm. So the, the role of the team is only recommendatory. Of course. I'm really not in any obligation to follow what they say. Uh -uh. I just wanted to show a united front sana. You okay. Know. <laughs> we in the chamber are bent on obtaining the data now, we'd like to see what uh, what was in the audit reports that were uh, prepared by the audit teams. We'd like to see what the MGB review looked like. Sirmado na ni DNR Secretary Gina Lopez ang mga closure order para sa mga lumabag na minahan, pero pwede pa rin daw itong pawalang bisa ng Pangulo. Ito ang dahilan kaya umapila ang Chamber Mines kay Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez na siya rin co-chairman ng Mining Industry Coordinating Council. Kababata ng Pangulo si Secretary Dominguez na di umano'y may interes sa tampakan mining sa South Cotabato. I was involved in mining in two, uh, two times in my life. One was between 1999 and 2003 when I was the CEO of PASAR. The second involvement I had in mines was in 2006, when I was invited to rehabilitate Rapu Rapu Mine. Since then, I have had nothing to do with mining. I have no mining interest. And nag ba kayo ni Secretary Dominguez? Sabi ni Secretary Dominguez, eh, ang daming mawawala sa gobyerno. Anong mawawala sa gobyerno, no? I mean, are we not suffer when we kung kung madidismaya yung tubig ng tao, hindi ba sino may tungkulin na aalagaan ang lahat? Ang gobyerno at kung mag and we're going to co-opt kung ang lahat ng decisions natin ay para sa big business, sino mag-aalaga sa mahihirap? Kaya kaya ba nilang awain yung big business at big political interest? Maliit sang ng tao. Nagdudusa sila ng katakot-takot na taon. Hindi sila inaalagaan. Sabi ng Chamber of Mines, mga 6 billion ang mawala sa government a year. Sabi naman ng DOF, mga 821 million ang mawawala sa, you know, lost revenues from the closed operations of the mines. Ano ang, ano ang sagot Ito niyo? yung sagot ko dyan. Yung economic growth na stock market, na GDP, for me, hindi yan genuine economic growth kung, hindi, kung, kung nagdudusa pa ang mamamayang Filipino. If it's Filipino. not inclusive. If okay. it doesn't result in social justice, bakit hindi gawin yung, yung um, economic growth na sa biodiversity? natin sa mga ecotourism, sa agrikultura. Bakit sa, why are we gonna hinge on an operation na may magdudusa ang mas marami? Yung malaking tanong ay at what cost? Uh -huh. Hindi ay, nila binibigay eh, yung other they, side. They, 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 you know, sinasabi nyo yung mga 6 billion, etc., etc. Yeah. That's the benefit that they're, they're getting, but they don't include the costs to the other people. 